Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to fulfill a childhood dream and make secret hiding places compartments. Compartments? Yeah, they're not places. Well, they are places, but they're compartments. I'm gonna do the thing where you got a hole in the book, you make a false bottom to things. I'm doing that. I want to hide things even though I have no one to hide them from. But you know, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to have these secret hiding places around my house. Now this is just gonna be part one. I mean, unless you guys hate this, then this will be the only part ever. But like, this first round is gonna be very simple things. And then if you guys like these videos, I definitely want to get a little more intense. I definitely want to build shelves that have false bottoms and you know, like drawers that have just a bunch of false bottoms basically. <laughs> you don't know, I might turn a door into a bookshelf. But for now, we're just gonna make simple little ones for like around your room. Sometimes you value your privacy and you have nosy siblings, nosy roommates. So we're just gonna make a few tiny secret little hiding places. It's just for fun. Ready? Let's begin. Okay, so this first one is just the one that everyone knows. The book that when you open it, pages are cut out and you can hold something in the book. I have no idea what this book is. It was on sale at Target and the reason I got it is because if you take off this cover, because I hate these covers, it's just annoying. It's like a super cute, good looking purple. I kind of just like this. Like this is a good purple. I don't need this cartoon. I don't need this business. And you know when things do have false insides? It's this kind of book. I like this feel. The Tyrant's Tomb, book four. Oh no, is it gonna look suspicious that I don't have one through three? Anyway, I don't know how you're supposed to cut out the inside, but I got a heavy duty X-Acto knife and a light duty X-Acto knife. And I think we're just gonna cut into it. And I think I'm gonna go a few pages in. How many pages is this? 400, this is a long book, and 40. Keep 100 on both sides. Seems like a lot. Let's go 75. We'll keep 75 on each side. You can still like look like you're reading it even though there's an empty middle. Got it? No idea how to do this. I'm just guessing. Should I like do a certain within the, we'll go the length. Oh, I just cut it. This feels so wrong. We'll use this. Haha. -ha. This is a good guide. Oh, I went sideways. Oh, this is just cutting right through. This is nice. Okay. Kind of goes which way it wants to go, doesn't it? Okay. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. I've cut one page. Good, okay then. That felt so wrong to do. I also want to write a little like kidnapping note because I cut out words. Yeah, all right then. Well, I guess I just do this over and over again. Oh, you have, oh, it's hard to go in a straight line. Oh, would you look at that? Now clearly I can't really use these hiding things because well, you guys know where it is and what it is now. Am I supposed to glue the pages together? Does that seem like something I should do? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna work on this and if I come up with a better way to do it, I'll let you know. Okay, it's been like 45 minutes and I got a hundred pages cut out. Do you wanna see how much that looks like? That much. So I finally figured out the groove. Once you got a few pages cut out, you can just use the original hole as like a guide to cut more. It's actually like easy but tedious. Now I was gonna do like 300 pages, but I don't really have however many 45 minutes times three is to just like, to just like, you know, cut paper. I don't. I think I should glue them together. This is all the money I have. $44, all right, let's say I have an annoying sibling that steals all my money. Colleen used to steal 50 cents from me every single day to buy a cookie in high school, just saying. She owes me like at least $30. Anyway, put that in there. Oh, and then when you open it up, you're like, oh, this is just a book. Oh, there it is. But I think you put it this way, you're like, oh, it's nothing. Oh. So hold on, let's put it somewhere. It's opening because I had it like pressed open for so long cutting. But once it gets back to like being shut for a long time, let's put it somewhere. Let's put it somewhere. Oh, you would never know there was $44 in that. Oh, I've done it again. So this takes a really long time and it's super tedious, but like it works y'all for that annoying sibling. You know, just put it in a Twilight book. No one's gonna bug you about it. But you know, like don't cut up books you're not supposed to cut up. I bought this to cut it up. Also, I just love the look of this book. I love this purple. It's a good purple. Anyway, throw my money in there. Blaze doesn't steal it. Next secret hiding spot. All right, this next one is if you need to hide something in the kitchen. Hello, Snoop. Well, you don't need to hide it in the kitchen, but like the kitchen's where you're gonna hide it. So what you do is you get a little mason jar. 
You get to sneeze on me again? You get a little mason jarry jar. You get half paper towel roll, you get a, what is this? Toilet paper roll thingy. And I'm gonna cover up the bottom. Hold on. You get some other cardboard, but you cover up the bottom. Professional. Very, very professional looking. You pour some beans in there. Or whatever. Whatever you have in the world. Then you're gonna need another little flappy for the top. Okay, I am a master of spy things. So you got this? Look it. Put your money in this. Boop. Close this up. Okay. Beans all around! Okay, I don't have enough beans to fully cover it. But like, you get the gist, you know? You cover it fully with beans, screw back up, and listen. If it was filled to the top, you wouldn't even know there was money hidden inside. Okay, we need to get the money. Open back up, move the beans around, open your flap. Got my $44. Yes, this is the same dollars that were in the book, but I'm not gonna just have a bunch of $44 rolling around. Hold on, I'm gonna put none on the bottom. It's almost all the way full. Look at, oh! Just saying, great place to hide things, you know, that are smaller. Way less time consuming than the book. All right, ready? Next one. Now this one, I scraped my leg really bad. <laughs> oh, no, Ugh. Dude, why'd you, why? Why do your nails have to be so sharp? Don't you bite me. What is this? What is this? You scrape me and then you come up and you just bite me? What are you doing? What is this? Do you need a toy? There you go. <sighs> All right. This one Christopher taught me when I was little. He had this in his room. I don't know why he showed it to me, but he did. Um, he used it on a longer squat. This tissue box. So what you do is you open one little slot. Here's this little box, tissues. Boom. We'll go to here. Beautiful. Tape it in. Look at it, you have a tile, you can make it as tall as you want, but right now I only have $44 and some beans. So you just slide that under there. Then you can close this back up, get a little, get a little double-sided tape action going, whatever floats your boat, however you wanna secure this. Bada, oh, hold on, you gotta be sneaky about it. Bada bing, bada boom. Doesn't even look, okay, it looks, you need some double-sided tape. Folding tape over doesn't really work. You, boom, look at that. You just have this sitting on a counter. No one's gonna look at this and be like, there's 44, this dog. Dog. Are you really? Oh God, he's pushing me. And then when you need your money, just open it back up. Boop, baba, ah, uh, $44. Oh wait, no, I left a 20 in there. $44. And like, no, you ne would never even. You would never even. Dude! You can thank Christopher for this little hack. It's cute, it's adorbs. Even better if you have one of those like tissue thingies you put over it. Cause you pick it up, still super light. Tissues move like no big deal. You can't see anything. Listen, you could take the whole tissues out and it would look like the normal bottom. I'm just saying, that one. Easy. Stop scraping me in the same spot you scraped me already. Don't bite me. This dude. Next one, let's go. Now there might be problems with this. So what you're supposed to do is get a fake plant and then you're supposed to be able to open it, but the dirt is stuck to the pot. So I don't quite know how I'm gonna get into this. Just shooting it in my own eyeballs. Hold on, let me get the sticker off. Oh, no, not a false bottom. I thought there was a hole at the bottom I could push through. How? Let me get my knife. Okay, so you gotta be able to take the plant out. Uh, you know, at the store, I was like, it'll be easy. I don't think it's, it's, it's glued all around, Ballinger. Why did you think this would be easy to get the plant out? Did you just need a little belly rubs? Little belly rubs? Is this nice? Is this good for you? Pushing me. Pu <laughs> this is my couch. I bought it. I got it delivered on my birthday. This is my couch. It's been here long than you. Guess I'll sit over on this side now. Anyway, let's try. Hold on. How do we? Yeah, no, this isn't gonna work. I might have to abandon this plan. So what you're supposed to do is this. And this is glued in, so I don't know how to get to it. I think this one's gonna be a fail on my part. Snoop, what do you think? You think you wanna eat this platypus some more? Or is it a beaver? Looks like a platypus. All right, disgusting. Well, let's just go to the last one. I don't, I don't know what to do here. This last one is for when you need to hide something outside in the dirt. Now they used a prescription pill bottle, but I don't have any of those. So I found an expired Zycam. So I emptied this out. So you put a key in here or whatever you need to hide out in the front yard, usually a key. But what you do to disguise it, cause you know how like hide a key rocks, we've discovered those suck. They don't look right. Well this, you just get, okay, this has gotta warm up. Are you warming up? Yeah, you're warming up. Okay, you gotta let that warm up. This, you just take rocks from your front yard so you know it's gonna blend in cause it's the rocks that you will, so they, they use one giant rock. I don't have giant rocks in my front yard. I think giant rocks are weird. I have little rocks. You might be very annoying. You've destroyed my lovely covering. You're making noise. 
but you're having fun, so who cares? So you take these rocks and you just, oh, this is glitter glue. <laughs> I haven't used my hot glue gun since doing glue gun hacks with Jojo. So anyway, we just glue these on the lid. Oh no, I forgot that. Glue, oh, hot glue. Hot glue down. Oh, they're dirty. Make sure you clean your rocks or they won't stick. There we go. Okay, here we go. Just gluing it up. Just gluing it up, everybody. So all you gotta do is you just gotta glue it up. Okay, do do. That's on. Glue down there. Make sure it's sturdy. I don't suggest glitter glue because Definitely gonna make a little shimmer in the world, but like, who cares? Ah! Oh, love this. Absolutely. This one's, okay, that one's a little noticeable. Uh-huh, okay. Let's see, blah, 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 blah. What are you doing? No, what is this? I'm just caked in dog hair. Every, the whole body is caked in dog hair because of you. What? You're just pushing things off the couch now. Are you kidding me? Here. Anyway, so that's the top. You bury, Back. You again? So you just bury this in the ground, throw a couple rocks on top, you're good to go. You can open this, put a key inside, put a little note, money, a check, whatever you need to store outside. So yeah, we're gonna go bury this outside in the morning. To the morning shot. Okay, so you just like, you dig, oh God, this is, this is tough dirt. Okay, oh, there you go. See, you just dig a little freaking hole, not deep enough. Okay, you need, it's a pretty deep hole. You need, see? And you would never know that this <gasps> is a secret hiding compartment. I just blew your minds. All right guys, that's it for today. The only one that didn't work out was this because I didn't think about the fact that I can't take that glued in thing out. So you kind of have to make your own, like go to Michael's and get a pot, that styrofoam stuff and the plant and the fake. That's a lot of work. Maybe next time because that one is more work. I already spent 45 minutes doing the book. I didn't need to do a huge other project. The easy ones, beans in a mason jar, tissue box, rock bottle, those three are super easy. If you guys like this, I will do a more intense one where I actually have to like bring out my saw and build things and whatnot. So um, I hope this dog isn't too distracting for you like it is for me. But yeah, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you want a part two. I do want to get more intense, but I didn't want to put in the time and effort if you guys just do not care about this at all. So uh, that's it for today though. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. It's Tuesday, which means it's giveaway day. He just laid down. Finally. Oh, so because the video's done, you're chill now. Is that what it's gonna be? Oh, you know what we're gonna give away? This book cover. We're just gonna give away the book cover. You don't get the book you just get the cover you know what we'll throw in some pages though so you get a book cover but no book and a couple pages that aren't all there because I had to cut up the words so if you want to win this I was gonna say you have to show me your hiding spot but that sounded really creepy so I'm not gonna say that you have to be subscribed to this channel and you have to share this video on some sort of social media and tag me in it so I see that you've done that and you're in the running to win a book cover and some cut up pages. You're welcome. Best giveaways in the world on this channel. I love you guys so much. Check out my vlog channel. Check out my podcast channel. Check out my Twitch channel. And remember, above all else, stay awesome possums.